This video is going to wrap up our series on the nervous system, and this video will cover the topic of neuronal pools and circuits. A neuronal pool is a group of neurons dedicated to a particular function. Neuronal pools are made of a series of neuronal circuits. The circuit describes the structural orientation of the neurons in that neuronal pool. And in this picture, we can see five different circuits, but we are going to discuss only four of those. Our first circuit is a diverging circuit. In a diverging circuit, one nerve fiber is going to branch into axon collaterals and synapse with several postsynaptic cells. These postsynaptic cells are going to branch and then connect to many more cells. So at each junction, we're making the number of cells that we communicate with larger. This is how one motor neuron can stimulate thousands of muscle cells. So as we diverge, we are going to be communicating with more and more cells. In a converging circuit, we are going to do the opposite. We are going to take signals from many axons and bring them into one postsynaptic cell. This is how much of our sensory nervous system works. So we get sensory inputs from many different areas involved in making a decision regarding all of that output. And that sensory info could be something like respiration. We've got stretch information, chemoreceptive information, and baroreceptive information coming into our medulla oblongata and we have one cell making a decision. This one cell can then make a decision about what should occur regarding respiration. Our third type of circuit is called a reverberating circuit. A reverberating circuit is going to be self-reinforcing because an axon collateral is going to double back and re-stimulate a neuron early in the circuit to keep that signal going to our target organs. So this circuit is self-perpetuating. As our input comes down, that input also doubles back to re-stimulate the entire process. A good example is medulla oblongata control over breathing. So our medulla sends one signal that says breathe, and then that signal doubles back on itself and continues to re-stimulate the circuit until the pathway is interrupted. That interruption may come from a stretch receptor, chemoreceptor, or baroreceptor, as we mentioned in our previous example of a converging circuit. Lastly, we have a parallel after discharge circuit. This is going to combine a diverging circuit with a converging circuit. The key here is that our signal is going to arrive at our target cell at differing times because we have a different number of neurons involved in each of those pathways. A great example of a parallel after discharge circuit are the circuits in your eye. So if you blink, you may not even notice that you blink because you have these separate pathways bringing in that visual information and those pathways all arrive at different times so that you do not necessarily have a break in the information coming into 
your brain regarding your visual stimuli. Or if you look at a lamp or the sun, you get that after image because that information is still being delivered to your brain even after you have stopped looking at that lamp or the sun. This concludes our video series on the nervous system. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.